Aloha, this is Lisa from a Maui vlog and today we're gonna talk about moving to Maui. Are you thinking about moving to Maui? Well, I have some tips for you. And um, as you already know, there are a lot of videos already about moving to Maui and also living on Maui. And um, this is just another perspective, another point of view that you can listen and learn because I know the move is a big deal, you know, it's a big decision that you will make. So it's good to just learn and before you make that um, big decision in your life. Okay, so number one, um, first you need to know why you're moving to Maui. Uh, there are many reasons. For example, is it job relocation? Is it a um, change of lifestyle? Or maybe you're moving to Maui because you want to be closer to your family maybe your kids uh, adult kids who move here are now married and have kids now you have grandkids and so you want to move to maui retire in maui so you can be closer with them so those are the different reasons i would want you to write down what your reason is for moving to maui um if you write down that you don't to get away from problems wherever you're living right now well wherever you go there's going to be problems so um that's not a good reason it can be change of lifestyle it can be you know break from the hustle and bustle of the city that you're tired of that's good thing you know that's something but you have to be clear with yourself why you're really moving here it could be just the weather you know my husband moved here from connecticut because he doesn't like snow he likes warm weather and so he moved here about 35 years ago so that's um this is just a good thing to be clear about your why and then tip number two is you have to know the pros and cons of living on maui so i'm sure that you know it's already a given practical but still it's good for you to write it down and just um ask yourself each time there's a pro and a con actually mostly the cons that you would be asking yourself, do I really want to deal with that? Do I really want to be in that situation? For example, one of the common or most popular cons is expensive here. You know, it is expensive to live on Maui, food's expensive, transportation. So you have to be ready with that. But also um, there are pros, great weather, as I mentioned, there's um, just the lifestyle, the people around it, so um, the people in it, I mean. So um, know those pros and cons. There's a lot of video, but I also did my own video about pros and cons of living in Maui. So I'm going to put a link down below and you can watch that as well. Actually, I will put a link after this video. So watch this video first and then at the end, you will see a link going to that pros and cons. So you can review that okay so number one is know your why number two is um, you have to know the pros and cons or be familiar with the pros and cons of living on Maui and then number three is you have to know and decide where you would want to live on Maui I mean it's a small island but still there are differences in the towns you know there are different personalities or town personalities as I would call it um, like the west Side, Lahaina, Kaanapali, Kapalua. For me, it's more touristy than the south side, which is Kihei, Wailaya, Makena. Although other people might say it's also touristy on this side. But um, so you have to know that. You have to research. Also, um, I have friends who live in Lahaina and they love it there. Or if your work is in Lahaina side, then might as well stay in Lahaina side instead of driving all the way from Kihei to. Lahaina. Um, you have to know that it's hot in Kihei, also in Lahaina, but if you want a little bit cooler weather, then maybe you would want to live a country like um, Hukalani, Makawao, maybe um, Kula is even cooler. So um, those are the considerations that you need to think about. Maybe you like surfing, so that's probably um, haiku that you would want to live or paia and um what else can we think of an example maybe you are um you like to golf so that's kapalua or wailea so think about that um 
again i have a video link that i will share with you when i spoke or i had a discussion with one of our realtor at wailaya realty one of our realtors um erica haliakala and we um, discuss in detail the different um kind of characteristics of towns that you can live here on maui so it's good to connect actually to um, a realtor or somebody here from maui maybe join a facebook group discussion about it and ask you know the locals and you can read books and articles i'm sure there are blogs about it i do um a maui blog i write a maui blog and i usually discuss this too so um yeah read up and find out the different characteristics of town and you can decide um i forgot to mention the central kahalui wailuku um it's actually cheaper to buy properties there or cheaper to rent in that area in the central area so you need to know that which uh, by the way i mentioned rent there's another decision that you would have to make do you want to buy or do you want to rent um i would recommend renting first come here first rent and then find out what which town you really would like to live before you buy the property however there are exceptions because rent is so hard it's hard finding a good rental property because you know it's, it's just people are you know um not renting their properties easily to people who are not here so some actually opt to buy even before they come here and so that's a decision that you would have to think about and again you would have to connect with a realtor so that um you can discuss with them in details what you would want in a property that you want to buy you know they can do facetime with you they can show you the property but um yeah you need to check craigslist for the prices of rentals check zillow for the prices of homes you might be surprised how expensive it is but um so that's one thing that um is very important you, you know you cannot just say i want to move to maui i was well, i'm gonna ask you where in maui would you want to move but if, if the reason um you, while you're moving here in maui is job relocation then most likely you're gonna be living in the town where your job is so uh, most of the hotels you know many of the hotels they do job relocation the managers move in here chef and usually if they're assigned in wailea side then people live in Kihei Wailea and then if they're assigned on the west side then they try to find a property there so um, yeah the tip is go to Craigslist go to Zillow and find a realtor that will be able to help you in that area okay so um, that's number three let's see here I have a notes, cheap notes here number four is your job situation so most likely or for the most part people move here with a job that's already um secured you know like the job relocation and um however there are some that are more adventurous and would want to move here and they just resign from wherever they're working and they move here without a job um that's kind of a little bit more adventurous i would um highly recommend that find a job here first before you move here because it's not that easy however um, it's also not that easy finding a job to move here when you're in the mainland and the employer would want to interview you and they'd rather interview someone that's already on the island than trying to interview from far away so um, it's kind of a situation that when you have to decide for yourself if you really want to move here even without a job then you should have savings maybe like three months six months savings so that if you don't find a job right away that you have money for expenses and paying your bills so um, there are various jobs that are in demand here you know this is tourism based um, industry here on Maui so a lot of hotel jobs but also um, teachers you know medical profession they are always in demand here but i uh, take in mind think take into consideration that you know living here is expensive so when you uh, negotiate your salary 
when you're finding a job, you should also gonna take into consideration the living expenses that you're gonna have here. But so yes, so um, highly recommended that you have a job first before you move here. But if you really wanna move here without a job, then just have a plan. Um, Business-wise, um, if your business is not tied up on a particular building, then that's great. You can move here. I know a friend of mine um, who's a travel um, has a travel agency, own a travel agency, and so it's easy for her to move here. Um, I'm actually gonna interview her um, maybe in one of the videos about um, her moving here, so we can share it with you. So more about that next time, but uh, that will be exciting. But um, yeah, so we talk about you just making sure that you have a job here. Oh, business, we're talking about business. So with business also, you know that, you know, the permitting process here is kind of different, it's slower, the shipping is expensive. So you have to consider that all in your business before you move here um, and check out if that's, business is feasible here or not so but you know those are things that you need to know but it should not just discourage you you have to just plan ahead and see what um what possibilities you have okay so next one so you're talking about job situation and then the car situation the question is should you ship your car or should you sell it and then just buy here well um, my recommendation, personal recommendation, is you ship your car, especially if you live on the west um, west coast. Probably cost around twelve hundred or um, yeah, something along that line. Uh, there are shipping company. My uh, broker from Wailea Realty, Tom Tisak, recommended uh, Pasha. I think it's Pasha. That's how you pronounce it. So I put a link below on the shipping of the car because. Um, Cars can be expensive here too, but if you already have a good car, working car, that um, especially if you already own it and it's working for you, you might as well ship it. Um, but if your car in the mainland is not working well for you, then might as well um, sell it and just buy here. Just know that um, again, it's gonna be expensive here, but at least you won't have to pay for shipping because it will be here already, right? <laughs> And so, um, speaking of cars, you know, some people say, oh, how about uh, Uber? Are there Uber there? You know, can I get away with not buying a car? Well, you probably can now, but it's harder and probably will end up being more expensive too when you um, have to go to work every day and you don't have a car. Public transportation is not um, highly developed yet. Um, there's public transportation now compared to when I first arrived here and there's really the bus is non-existent but now there are public buses but um, you really have to work with their schedule it's not too often that they drive around the place your place there are designated um, stop you know bus stop and so you still have to go to that bus stop for you to go uh, ride a bus and so if um, it's work then you would have to either sometimes go real early at work because of the bus schedule and all that hustle so I would say that um, you should have a car here but um, if you have a car that's working like what I said before in the west side then just ship it here if you leave from if you're coming from the east coast well maybe the shipment is expensive it might be worth um, just buying here so start researching on the car situation even before you come here you know call car companies and see what the prices of the cars are, then you can um, you can just budget. And you can also check Craigslist and see how and how much are the um, used cars out here. So that's the car situation. Okay, so I see that we're almost 15 minutes into this video. So what I'm gonna do is stop here, and we'll do the next part um, in the next video. The next five tips. You know we're gonna be talking about school um, you know when you have kids and you're moving here you would want to find out about the schooling situation you would want to find out about the culture you need to know about what your um, what kind of culture you're coming here 
I discussed a little bit of that on the pros and cons, but there are certain things that is important for you to know before you move here on those um, Maui or Hawaii for sure. And there are some more. So yeah, I look forward to being with you again on our next video. But for now, I would like to say aloha and I will um, just show you where I am right now. I am at Kamaoli Beach Tree and it's beautiful out here. So um, the sun is shining on my face though. That's why I'm wearing shades again. You know, I was originally planning on not having shades so you could see my eyes, but it's just I was squinting. So I thought I'd better just put my shades on. But anyway, so let me do a little span. So just you can see the video. There you go. And so I um, want to thank you for joining me here today. And we'll see you again in the next video. Aloha.